Hey, welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Tim. Um, the question is, how do I add layers, remove layers, and open layers? So layers is really important uh, when you're doing graphics editing, whether you're working on photos or you're creating art or advertisements. You need to understand layers because the reason they're important is because you want to keep all the different um, sections of what you're working on separate in case you want to remove one later or add a new one or just edit part of the picture or the graphic um, and you don't have to mess up everything else and you can rearrange them and you can basically make changes so I'm gonna I made a few files and I'm gonna teach you how to do each of those and maybe a couple of extra um, critical basics with layers so we got a few files right here that I've already prepared and I created these for this tutorial and I made them available links in the description and you can download them and use them for whatever you want or follow along which is why I made them available so I'm gonna double click on GIMP and we're gonna go ahead and create a new template so you want to go to file new 1920 by 1080 is good and then click on advanced options and one thing you want to do is just change the comment you can make it whatever you want um, you can put your name there if you want and then on the background color change that to either white or you can use your foreground color which is this one that's your background color and or you can make it transparency we'll go ahead and do that and hit OK and now we have um, a, like a canvas this transparent background so go ahead and go to file open as layers and we'll go to desktop and here is the blue world background that I made so we have layer number one and now one thing you can do is you can you have your two layers you got your original background that it created and then you got your new layer that you just opened up you can make them invisible so you can just get them out of the way without deleting and you can right click on one you can merge it down and now it's part of that layer and now we only have one layer next now that we have that we'll go ahead and go to file open as layers and I'm gonna get the other two so I'm gonna click on one then I'm gonna hold my control key and hit yellow text and then I'm gonna hit open my cat just walked over to me and is just staring at me so like if I'm distracted it's because like she's just being creepy but uh, anyway so <laughs> now we have our three layers and you can rename one by like right click on it hit edit layer and then I'll just call this one like yellow text and that's just to show you how to rename it um, we'll call this one like the uh, text cutout and to make a new layer I'll go to layer new layer and I'll name it right here we'll call it outline hit OK now it's in the wrong order that one went right underneath the yellow text and I want it on the top because or else it won't be visible because um, well actually it would because the layer above is transparent background but still, you want to keep your layers in the right order. So left click on one, hold it, and drag to wherever you want. I'm going to drag it up there. And I'm going to use my bucket fill tool. And I'll actually, I'll get my color picker tool. And this is how you do it. Click on it right there. Click on the layer that you want to get the color from, which I want that yellow. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the yellow. And now I'm controlling that yellow in my foreground colors. Now I'm going to grab my bucket fill go up to the outline layer and what you want to do is just fill it in and go to select all it's just a little extra value to create a reason to make a new layer and also you're going to learn how to do an outline on your frame or your um, canvas so go to select shrink and all your selection changes will happen right here select shrink and then I'll just shrink it by like 20 or 25 pixels and hit OK and then go ahead and hit the delete key and there you have it select none and that is how you work with layers in GIMP and uh, thanks for watching I'm Tim see you in the next one